Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to work on dealing with that high loopy ball to the forehand side. So I'm going to show you two ways on how to deal with it. One is going to be receiving the ball, and I'm going to show you two ways on how to do that. And the other is going to be meeting the ball, and I'm going to show you two ways on how to do that. So remember, go out on the court, give this a try, play around with it, see what works for you, and I'm sure that it's going to help you level up your game. So the first way that we're gonna work on dealing with that high ball and what we call receiving the ball is going to be the back leg hop, right? And that's where you load up on the back leg and you allow yourself to really jump up and then you're landing on that same foot while driving the non-dominant leg up into the air to get some shape into your shot. For the back leg hop, I'm noticing and I'm recognizing that the ball is gonna be bouncing deep. So I'm already tracking the flight path of the ball. Notice where the ball bounces, right? It's bouncing pretty deep in the court here. And from there, I wanna make sure that I'm really behind my shot. So I'm getting really back. I'm receiving the ball, right? Notice how far back behind the court I am. I'm in well in zone five, the defensive zone. And from there, I wanna make sure that I'm loading up on this back leg here. And then as I load, I'm actually gonna wanna make sure that I pivot it, right? To get my hips and my core to really engage into it. And I'm gonna drive the other leg, which is my left leg, I'm gonna drive it up. And so let's clear that out for you guys so you can see this unfold. I'm going to lift and really throw my legs into that shot. So I'm lifting, I'm shaping it, I'm making sure that I'm trying to get this arc to the ball as it's coming off of my strings. So as I recover, I'm gonna hustle back and I'm gonna move back for this ball. Again, get behind this one is a little bit shorter and you can see it, I can still load up behind this shot. I'm gonna load up on the back leg here and I'm gonna lift the other leg. I'm gonna throw this leg up so that my hips create a higher line and it's actually shaping the ball from the ground up. And from there I'm throwing it up. I'm uncoiling my hips so that now I'm facing the court. Notice my feet now face the court, my hips face the court, and I can recover back into position from there. The second is going to be the switch kick, where you load up in that open stance on that back leg and you're actually gonna throw your hips around so that you end up with that back leg in front. And what that's gonna allow you to do is that's gonna create way more heaviness on the ball and way more spin on the shot, and allow you to actually load up and hit an aggressive ball off that deep shot. So what I love about the switch kick is it takes a defensive position ball. So I'm having to move back for this shot. I'm tracking that the ball is gonna be kind of deep. And I can load up and what it does is it takes a defensive position and instead of thinking I'm playing defense, you're thinking this is an opportunity for me to hit a high, heavy, aggressive ball back to my opponent. And so I'm loading up on this back leg and I'm actually gonna load up in kind of a semi-open stance here. So. I'm back, I'm really loaded. And from there, I'm actually gonna wanna throw my legs and my hips all the way around so that the back foot actually ends up in front. So check this out. As I unload into the shot, I'm gonna throw myself all the way around and notice my right leg is now in front and my left leg is now pointing in this direction. So if we take that back, it starts off, my legs are pointing in this direction and when I finish, I'm pointing in the other direction. So I'm throwing myself so aggressively into the shot that I can then really rotate all the way around. Now check this out. I come back again, I'm receiving the ball, right? I'm moving back, I've tracked it, it's gonna be deep. I've loaded and now I've got a little bit of time to unload into the shot and I'm throwing myself into it. This allows you to then also disguise where you're gonna be targeting. You could play this cross court or, or down the line, but the big thing is, regardless, I am still shaping this shot. I'm hitting a heavy ball from this position. And then I recover back, and I'm back into position ready for the next ball. So take the deep ball as an opportunity to play a deep, aggressive ball back. The next way that we're gonna work on is meeting the ball. So when you're meeting the ball, obviously the first thing that comes to mind is taking the ball on the rise. So taking the ball on the rise is a great way to do this for those higher, deeper balls so that you don't let it get out of your strike zone. So now when we're meeting the ball, we're taking the initiative and we're deciding, listen, I'm not gonna allow this ball, this heavy ball to push me back. We're gonna try to meet the ball out in front. So 
What we're gonna do is you're gonna move and you're gonna recognize that, all right, this ball is coming in deep, but I'm not gonna give up court. I'm gonna step into the shot. I wanna make sure that my base is wide. Notice how far my feet are apart, even as I move towards this shot. And I'm gonna load up so that my legs are really in control. My hands are already set back. Notice where my racket is at this position. And I'm actually gonna turn into the ball as a unit. So both my hands and my feet and my hips all come into the shot together so that it gives me this clean, connected swish into the ball. So we wanna unload into it and notice that I'm pivoting off this back foot. I'm driving this back leg and the knee into the shot as I'm coming through contact. And what's really great about this is this gives you way more control on the ball. It allows you to really pop that ball even though you're taking it on the rise and you're taking time away from yourself and your opponent. You're simplifying your backswing, you're stepping forward, you're just dropping your hands down. And this one I'm having to step back, but I still notice I'm turning into the shot. So base is low, really staying grounded and making sure that you're not falling away from the shot and making sure that you're coming into the ball so that you're allowing yourself to really pop that ball. Keep it simple. You're not trying to create a heavy ball off of this. You're taking time away. So flatter is okay as long as you're able to control the direction of your shot. And the last way that we're gonna work on for today is the high transfer, where you let that ball kind of jump up, but you don't let it get out of your strike zone and you're actually gonna thump that ball about shoulder level and really pound it into the court. If you've got a weapon of a forehand, you can definitely utilize this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna recognize that the ball is high. You're gonna set your hands high as you're waiting for that shot. You're gonna load up in that open stance and you're going to unload into it and transfer it forward. Okay, so this is a really powerful shot. It is risky. Notice that I'm hitting it from behind the baseline. I don't highly recommend this, but if you have a forehand that's a weapon, you can definitely attempt this and go for it. So even though you're ripping this ball, there still should be a little bit of shape to it, right? You're not bending the ball like this on this ball. You're driving this. Notice that's why we want to make it contact about shoulder height so that you can drive this. But even still, I like to tell my players, bend the ball to target. So it's not gonna be a straight line, there's still gonna be a little bit of an arc. So as you do this, again, load up in open stance, and then you wanna make sure that you have that good spacing, hands are set high, making sure that you're making contact, shoulder height, and then unloading into that, making sure that you're finishing more in front than where you start, right? So that, notice I'm loading here, and I'm gonna end up in front all the way through. Well, not that far in front, but you guys get the idea. So making sure that you're transferring your weight into the ball, really getting your hips to come around from here forward into the shot and transferring your weight forward into the ball. So you're getting all of your mass behind that shot. It is not the easiest ball to execute, but solid reps will definitely help you get more confident on this and execute better, better shots. I hope you guys got a lot out of this video. I'm sure that you can take away at least one thing to help you improve your own game. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to this channel for more great content that's gonna be coming your way over the next couple weeks. Until next time, bye.